Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Pipper Run Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we've been trucking through this tree with our 1,000. <laughs> I got that saying 1,000 again. With our 102 party. Technically, 100. And, uh, four more. 106, actually. But that's actually counting everyone, including me and our three party members. But, anyways, in this episode, it's actually started off by shoving all the punies on this pedestal. Oh, uh, what? Oh, oh no! What's happening? Vibrations happening, that's for sure. So that's how you get to this room. <laughs> Anyways, let's grab the orb. Eh, yeah, I'm gonna heal. And let's actually head over here, because save point and a heal block? Hmm, let's see. That thing's gotta be around here somewhere. Bah, bah. What's that? Whoa, sounds like a mob. Better clear out. First, let's check all the bushes. Because who knows what could be in here. Like a thunder rage. Or... Nothing. Anyways, if it wasn't obvious enough, we need 101 punies. Let's have them all on the pedestal again. Oh, it's green. It's a crystal star. Oh, we found it. Without trouble. Mario, look, 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 look. It's a crystal star. There's trouble. What? Did he just... Hey, what's going on here? Buh, buh, buh. Man, I'm lucky. What? Where am I just good? Oh, you say you need a crystal star, Lord Chump? Boom. Fell right in my hand. Lap. Still, this is humiliating. You shouldn't have been able to escape that cell. So, for insolence, my awesome trap, I'm going to repay you with a little present. Know what it is? Just a little something I like to call a remote time detonator. I'm going to use it to bury you in those squirmy punies and rubble. Sound fun? Well, enjoy your fall mo minutes inside the dark, damp tree, and with that power, I'm gone. 300 seconds. Which is seven minutes, I think. Did you just eat? Hurry! We have to get the heck out of here. And as it just turns out, I remembered how to get that shine sprite earlier in regards to that rock that's standing on that uh, airplane pedestal. Oh yeah, we actually have to f have mandatory fights. Which I am going to wreck everything since I have upgraded boots. Now you do want to save as much as your entire stats as you can. I forgot they had that. Yeah, some of the x knots can actually increase your power. Does it say they're x -Nots? I'm pretty sure it says they're x knots so whatever. Star Beast! <laughs> There's no dead. I'm getting the pick boo boo <sighs> Dodge. Anyways, um, this actually gets an easy for us to get to the very beginning. Um, I think we go up. I don't even think we need all these punies. But we'll just drag them along for the most part.
just because I remembered about it, and I'm going to see if I actually have enough time, is that you actually take Flurry to this thing. <laughs> God, I actually remembered, like, I should be a bit more worried, shouldn't I? Uh, I'm missing some of the punies. Yeah, whatever. Um, for the most part, a lot of the enemies aren't here anymore, I think. Is it because I killed them or they don't spawn? One or the other. And we have hit the halfway, halfway point for the timer. But the thing is, where we're supposed to go is right here. Right. You won't be able to go any further this way. What? What are you nuts moving, you old jeez? What? Did you just call me an old geezer? What did you get off talking like that? You got no respect, bro. Don't think my age is a thing that you might... <laughs> He's shrieking. Even if it kills me, I won't let you through. I'm ready. Elder Power, activate! Whoa. That's a problem, Grandma. You got an ear hair tickle on your brain or something? Or what? Oh, oh what's that? Ouch. Can't take another step. Ugh. Ugh. What a time for my stupid back to start acting up. You hot headed old coot. You dare to find me? I could shine my boots with you. Ahem. You do no such thing. Unless, do you really think we'll let you wreck the little place and escape? I do believe you'll hand over the crystal star and promptly exit this tree. Bah, 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 bah. You guys are nuts. You know that? Oh well. I guess I'd better shut off the timer. Yep. Okay, you pests. One pummeling coming up with extra fists. Metal fists, that's it. Awaken Magnus von Grample. This time for a technological thrashing. And I don't have any good. Are you crying yet? Yeah, sorry, but this thing isn't armed with tissues. Wild Magnus von Grample? Have the, the effort? effect on people. Totally whipping terror. And you ain't seen nothing yet. Check out this power on this bad boy. Mercy me, this metal colossus is incredible. And yet, there's something rather odd about it. Let's just keep our eyes peeled. Don't be careless. Now, one thing I do remember about this boss fight is that he has one point of defense. And I'm gonna switch out to Bella so I can actually tattle on him. Magnus won punish! Oh god. That's gonna be hard to time. Magnus Fun Grapples, giant boat built by the x knots Like Crump drives it, has 30 HP, 2 attack, and 1 defense. Its most effective attack is one to take advantage of its size. Its fists have max HP of 2 and attack of 4 and defense of 0. Ooh. Oh, I remember those fists. Yes, he could summon fists that do an insane amount of damage. Aw. <laughs> Wouldn't laugh if I got the thing right away. Ah! I'm gonna switch over to Coops because he's a, my best uh, party member for this. For one, 
he takes less damage. Two. He actually does three hits, so he's going to regardless do two. Actually, I'm pretty sure he takes whatever. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Eh, five. That was okay. And now for... Crap! Ugh. This is so awesome. Check out this thing. You're going to love it. This might not work out too well for you. And now this is the fists that he that uh, Mello was talking about. They have two HP, so they're pretty easy to take out. But Koops cannot actually attack them. Now the reason why I got Koops out is because Oh god, that hurts. Ah, oh, Koops is on his back. Yes! Ah, oh, Koops can't actually block that. <laughs> stylish, stylish, stylish. Man, stylish, stylish, stylish. Yeah. Crap. Koops is taking a beating. It's always amusing me. Good. Ugh. Not good. Can't last. That timing is annoying. He does four fakes outs and then he actually does it. Oh, look. The winning move. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. This can't be the end. Wow, that went easy. And we're close to level 7. Blah, blah. No, Magnus von Grapple, how could we lose? Half, half, half. I'll remember this, losers. Lord Crump summons us. Retreat, heads way, way up. <laughs> the straggler. You pulled it off, Mario. I can't believe it now. Wow. They're gone. This place can go back to peaceful place I remember. Alright there, Martio. You could have the Emerald Star, the crystal star that resides in this tree. You got a crystal star! You have learned a special move, Clock Out. Which is actually a pretty good move. I don't find myself using it, but it's a good one. End of chapter! And so, uh, after pummeling Lord Crump, Mario obtained the second crystal star. With the Exnots gone, peace once again prevailed throughout the Great Tree. The Bugley Woods echoed with the puny songs of joy. But this may not be the last of our heroes here from the vile Exnots. They may surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try and stop to his efforts. Say that again! You can't get in touch with Lord Crump? You are correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. Sir Grotus, please allow me to enter. Yes, what is it? I have a report, sir. The Crystal Star and Bogley Woods have apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. 
What about Lord Crump and the Shadow Sirens? Um, I'm sorry, sir, but unfortunately Mario laid a beating on all of them. Hmm. Disturbing. This Mario character is... What kind of... Speak up next, not... What is the status of the other crystal stars? I apologize, sir. We're still searching for the other crystal stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. We knew that three of them... Three of them. Hooktails, Cat... Essel, Boggly Woods, and the one we got in Rogueport. This means that there, there are four crystal stars left out there. And we will have them. Keep looking so that Mario won't beat us to the punch. Yes, sir. As I suspected, there's no reason, no doubt, that Mario has the map. He must. Listen up. You, I want you to keep a close watch on what Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. Mario, I loathe you. Interesting. Oh, Mario. Did you even read the mail I sent you? I wonder. I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone is doing at the castle. Will I never dance at the mushroom ball again? What will become of me? Peter the lewd! Yeah, nice stop no. Oh, this is Texture again. Now, we actually have a bit more control. We can actually wander around in the hallways and everything. In fact, we're actually going to be going through that elevator later. In a different interlude. Hello, Princess Peach. I'm glad you came. That mail is sent to Mario. Did she reach him out alright? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. So what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know of love? Your expression regret, regret, regrets earlier that you would not be able to dance at the ball, correct? Excuse me? Were you eavesdropping? I'm sorry, Princess Meach. I've been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But it is odd. When you said that, I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How my CPU would produce that impulse is inexpectable. I must find what caused it. Find out what the cause is? There's no such reason behind such feeling, Tech. Wanting to do something together is part of love. I know it, but then again, you are, well, a computer. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait, wait just a minute. What am I supposed to do? You say you want to dance? It's just so bizarre. I mean, how in the world do I dance with you? Or you have no, you have no arms, no feet, or moves. The, uh, would this be acceptable dancing subject? Oh my goodness! Is that me? Did you create that? Oh, alright, I guess. I must say, though, it's gonna feel weird dancing with myself. There's a buttons. Yes, it's essentially a quick time event. To an extent. X. A, A, B. Oh, oh, come on! I, I totally pressed that. I guess I have to be fast, not actually keeping up with the beats. Now this is a plastic. B. Oh, uh, thank you, Princess Peach. That was very wonderful. Just a moment. Fun? Is that impossible? I feel that part known as fun. Tech, are you okay? Princess Peach, I will fulfill my promise to you. Please use my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. We can, like spam message on Skype. I'm finished, Act. Could you send it? 
I'm glad it's not directly at me and I can ignore it. The message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from the dancing immediately. The data that I thought was fun. You're a weird computer. No, you are mistaken. I am the world's best and only perfect computer. Good night, Princess Beach. Set progress? Sure, why not? <laughs>